Hello everybody, hope you're having a great day. Well, I'm making a dessert with canned cinnamon rolls and a can of apple pie filling. And all the ingredients will be listed in the description box. You get a bowl and then you want to open the apple pie filling and we want to put this all in a bowl. It's a very simple recipe, but it's delicious. So I thought I'd share it with you once you get all of those pieces of uh, apple pie filling in the bowl. Then we're going to add some uh, caramel syrup and give it a good uh, couple of tablespoons. I just uh, eyeballed it. And then I want to uh, cut up the apples into uh, smaller pieces, little bite-sized pieces instead of uh, the large pieces. And then mix it all together like this. Real simple. Okay. Now we want to get two baking dishes. Well, I'm going to use two. You could just use one, but I'm going to do two so I can bake one today and have one in the refrigerator to bake later. And so divide the uh, apple mixture into the two small baking dishes. Those are five by nine, I think, or no, five by seven baking dishes. And then we'll just set these aside. And in that same bowl, we're going to put one third cup of dark brown sugar. We'll pack that in. So one third cup of dark brown sugar and to that we're going to add one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And then we want to give it a shot of salt. A little salt in there from my new salt shaker that I got for Christmas. And then we want to just break it up and stir it together like this. Combine all those ingredients. And then we're going to add one tablespoon of flour and mix that in. This is going to be a crumble topping. Okay, it comes together nicely, you see that? And now we want to work on the cinnamon rolls. And I'm going to use four of them uh, in each of these dishes. And get a knife and just divide each cinnamon roll into eight segments and cut it like this, like a pizza. And then just place them in the baking dish on top of the uh, apple pie mixture. Very simple. Okay. And when I finish this, I'll do exactly the same thing with the other dish, but I'm not going to bake that today. I'm going to save that for tomorrow. And then you put the brown sugar uh, cinnamon crumble on top half in this dish and I'm going to put half in the other. Once again, you could use do all of this in one dish like a nine by nine, but I'm doing two so I can have one today and one tomorrow. And then four tablespoons of melted butter. You put half of it on each of the dishes. Just like that. Very simple. Now it's ready to go in the uh, air fryer. I'm going to use the air fryer to get this done. So we want to set the air fryer to, well I'm going to set it for about 20 minutes but it's not going to cook that long. I'm going to set it for 340 degrees and I'm going to cook it for 10 minutes because I was watching it. That's what you need to do. Watch it and once the tops get nice and golden brown the way you like them, then you take it out and you want to cover it with some aluminum foil and then put it back in and bake it for 20 to 25 minutes at 340 degrees Fahrenheit. But you just have to watch it. Every one of these little ovens is different, and so you have to just watch it. And then once it's done, you pull it out, and it's just that easy. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. And then it comes with the icing, and if you wait until it cools off, you can put the icing on, and it won't melt. But if you like yours hot, uh, you can still put the icing on, but it will melt and basically disappear. I've let this one cool just so it looks a little better. But uh, this is what it looks like. And let's dish it up, put it on a plate so you can see uh, what it's like. And it smells so good. And well, that's it. Very easy and delicious. Cinnamon roll and apple pie filling dessert. Mmm. 
absolutely wonderful. I'll tell you what, I think you'll like it if you make this. Anyway, that's how you make it. I appreciate you watching my videos and subscribing, and I hope you give this one a try. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye now.